All right, Demarcus, top of the top, creme de la creme, who you got there? You know, I, I, this, this may be a little bit controversial, but I think the Cowboys had a really good draft. Uh, in particular, because we see how it played out. They had the number 10 pick. There were rumors before they wanted Kyle Pitts. I was like, that's ridiculous. They shouldn't do that. They uh, were rumored to be tied to cornerbacks, either Patrick Sertain uh, Jr. or um, uh, J.C. Horn. Those guys got taken right before the Cowboys pick, so they were able to trade back from 10 to 12, pick up an extra third-round draft pick, and then draft positions of need, um, and also get the best player, Micah Parsons. So uh, he's one. He's probably the best defensive prospect uh, that was on in the draft period, but possibly certainly on the board. And getting him, get an extra draft pick, there's some uncertainty around their current linebacker core of Jalen Smith, who has been good, been solid, but not great. And Leighton Van Der Esch, who hasn't been able to stay healthy, they even declined to pick up his fifth-year option. So grabbing a linebacker with the high ceiling makes a ton of sense. They're able to pick up a bunch of other positions of need, like cornerback in the second round and uh, uh, D-tackle in the third round and save some cap room as well. It was overall great draft that really fit their needs this offseason. Okay, look, uh, hometown favor, right? No. I feel like the Cowboys draft was okay. I feel like you all might, might have reached on a couple of players. Ooh. Ooh, oh, I feel like you all reached on Kelvin Joseph, the cornerback that you got at 44 because you couldn't get one in your original uh, there slot. Were, I think he's a decent corner who has a high upside, uh, good speed, fluid movement. We'll need to learn some technique things in the NFL, but overall I think has a high ceiling. Okay, look, sure, sure, high ceiling. I'm with you. Now, how many Cowboys draftees are you concerned about off the field this year? None, as always. So you just gonna you just gonna get up here and lie, lie. Listen, there were some accusations made. Zeke tweeted, "Don't touch me." To That's because Michael he, Parsons, he's a really good linebacker who hits hard. <laughs> okay, and we had nothing to do with off the field at all. That was a pure football joke. Yo, okay, you're going, you're going, fans. you're going to talk about Micah Parsons, and you're going to be wrong. He was accused. Never charged, right. never charged with anything or proven uh-huh. to be guilty, accused, less like okay. a bunch of other innocent black men. You are really going to pull the a bunch of other innocent black men for Micah Parsons right now? He said he didn't do anything wrong. I'm going to believe him. Innocent until proven guilty. I am Talented stunned. player as well. For our video audience you on really? YouTube, I, I am stunned. The look on my face right now is astonishment. Look, I've, I've had the on. same position, but okay. 